DAL E2 Image Generator Complete Air Art Tutorial for Beginners Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can get started with the air art using the DAL E2 Image Generator. So let's get into it. Now, DAL E2 is a AI tech that has recently been released. A lot of buzz has been surrounding AI regarding ChatGPT and other AI systems as well. But this system allows you to create images from a text input. So you can create any kind of input, basic input, and create naturalist images as well as art styles and experiment with different art styles as well not only that but you can also expand you know previously created images so you can see it can expand a previous artwork it can also create edits of a singular artwork which could be super helpful in terms of creating you know uh, interior design so on and so forth and you can also create variations of a pre-existing image so you can change the art style you can change the format and do so much more with this image generator so to get started all you have to do is go on to openai.com slash doll e2 once you're over here you can click on sign up or log in on the right side of your screen you're just going to click on log in once you have clicked on log in, I'm just going to log into my pre-existing account. But if you don't have an account already, you can just sign up via Microsoft, Google or your email address. It is very simple and easy. And once you have done that, this will open up the OpenAI app. So this is a OpenAI and we're just going to continue on. After that, you have to enter a phone number. I will complete this privately and then I will get back to you guys. So I'm just going to go on ahead log into my account and you can see over here this is the doll e2 application so this is what your account will look like on the top right you will have your account and then you will have your credit so credits are actually what allow you to uh, use this platform if you want to create more images you can buy more credits these credits will last you quite a lot because they give you 50 new credits after every two weeks uh, i'm not exactly sure this is the exact amount but it is somewhere along those lines so you're going to be getting uh, a lot of free credits as well so if you can wait a little while then you can receive free credit after every two weeks if you ever run out of credits but you can see below that you have multiple different image samples you can see they're showing you the prompts that people added to generate these kinds of images so for this image over here a 3d render of an astronaut walking in a green desert this was their description and this is what the image actually gave now over here this is the description section where you enter the description or you can even upload an image to edit that but you can also click on surprise me and have a uh, unique little description or prompt added and abstract pencil and watercolor for lonely rubber holding a balloon so i just like this prompt so i'm just going to generate this and it takes Takes a little bit of time it doesn't take quite a lot of time to generate the image you can see this is my previous history that i have generated and i'll show you guys some more examples so you can see these are the renders that have been created using this prompt now if i go into my history uh this was an oil painting of a 90s teen girl room and i have a red fluffy gangster teddy bear so on and so forth now after that I also generated logos via this simple AI and I also created image variations. So you can see I uploaded this image and asked it to create variations so it can build variations. Now uh, I will click on upload once more and let's say I want to create variations of this image. Generate variations. And just like that, I can generate variations of a pre-existing image that I might have. Uh, you can do this with logos as well. If you designed a logo and something just doesn't seem very perfect to you, you can also go on ahead and wait for a redesign by this. So you can see it gave me such beautiful, very varied versions of this original art piece. Now, going on ahead, let's take another example. So logo for a real estate company now let's see what it's going to give us this is a super um non-specific description or prompt you can provide more detailed ones so you can see they have generated quite a few different logos but if i go on ahead and let's say i can go back and let's say i want to go with something very specific so i will add a specific little prompt over here so a skeleton wearing a pink hoodie working in a fast food restaurant. This is a very abstract prompt, but we can see the 
uh, potential that this AI generator has to develop new kinds of uh, images because you can see it has actually generated such amazing little prompts and this one is actually very good this image is very nice this is another one that is pretty good I really like these two and you can click on these and click on open in a new tab just to view this image then you can click on download you can click on variations of this image so if I like a, a image that it has generated I can ask for it to build variations upon that image instead of you know re-entering the same prompt uh, you can also enter the resolution of the image so so a cute fluffy animal hugging a dog in 720 by 720p now this allows you to create images that can fulfill your requirements in terms of resolutions and I didn't specify what kind of animal so I have a cat two cat images one with another dog and one with a wolf or a fox or maybe another dog so you can see the ideas you can generate with this are limitless and moving on towards the rest of the application we can see image generation we can see uploading and creating variations but you also have your history where you can see all of the images you have currently generated then you also have collections so you can build multiple different collections and you can just click on create collection and have your AI generated images saved in a orderly format if you don't want you know all your images to get mumbled up so for that you can put them all in collections just so it's easier for you to navigate through your images and this is one of the favorites that i generated it's a very you know interesting little item now after that if you're ever feeling like you're running out of credits i have seven credits but you can also wait for a couple of weeks to get more credits uh usually these credits the free credits that you're going to be getting will last you quite a bit but if you feel like your credits are running out then you can also purchase more now in terms of purchasing credits although it is it can be a little expensive when you think oh only 115 credits for 15 dollars well those 115 credits can actually render you over 15 images so it's really not that bad uh, and you get a very large potential of images that you can generate so I do find that this is an amazing way for you to build your art collection to build logos and do so much more so that was it for today I hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video and make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well and to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites so i hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if i missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and i will catch you guys in the next video